What if you had something that everybody on the planet wanted to buy? And what if you never even had to try to sell it because people were just lining up to buy it? An offer like this is called an irresistible offer. And in this video, I'm gonna show you the five elements that you can deliberately add to your offer to make it irresistible. My name is Ted Carr, and I'm a million dollar coach, school investor, and school games winner. And when I won the school games, I got to go hang out with Alex Hermosi for eight hours and workshop on what makes an irresistible offer. And so in this video, you're going to get the five keys to an irresistible offer so that next time you go and try and sell something, people will just want to buy it and they'll feel silly for saying no. Now in this video, we're going to specifically focus on high ticket offers as opposed to low ticket offers because with a low ticket offer, the math is just not in your favor when it comes to you getting rich. If you want to get rich, the math is definitely in your favor when it comes to high ticket. What do I mean by this? Well, let's look at a $20 ebook sale or a $20 course that you could sell versus a $10,000 high ticket coaching program that you can sell. If you want to make a million dollars with a $20 program, you've got to sell 50,000 copies of that program. Whereas if you have a $10,000 program, you only have to sell 100 copies. You only need 100 people to buy. And you might be thinking, well, how do I create a $10,000 offer? That's exactly what we're going to be covering in these next five elements here. Now you're probably thinking, there's no way I could sell a $10,000 offer even if I had these five elements. And I remember feeling the exact same way. I remember my friend came to me when I was living in Thailand and we were walking around the track and they came to me and told me, hey, we're going to raise our price from $400 to $2,000. And I thought that was the dumbest idea in the world. I thought no one's ever going to give them $2,000 because at the time my net worth was like $2,000. So I was like, who do they expect to actually pay two grand for their coaching program? They should just stick to the $400 program. At the time, all I had was a $20 ebook. So I was making some money on the internet, selling these $20 ebooks, making a few bucks here and there. Meanwhile, they had a $400 program and we're now raising it to two grand. And I didn't think it was going to work out for them. I thought people were going to think that they're scared cameras. But what ended up happening was we met again a month later, walked around the track again in Thailand, and they told us the high ticket program is selling beautifully. They've sold five copies since we last spoke and they've now made $10,000. Here I was still with my net worth around $2,000 because all I had was a $20 ebook. And it wasn't until years later that I finally got over this low ticket mentality that I had and I actually created my first ever high ticket program. And the very first month I went from selling a $20 ebook up to a $300 coaching program, I made $18,000 that month. The next month I made 20 grand. The next month after that I made 25 grand, all with a $300 program. Now we have programs that range from $5,000 to $10,000 or more, and we're doing $100,000 a month inside my company. But it's all because we have a high ticket offer. If you don't want to go high ticket, you can just stay selling low ticket, but you're going to make money so much slower and it's really not that difficult to sell high ticket if you implement these five elements that we're going to get into. The very first element that every irresistible offer has is it fits in to one of the big four categories, also known as the core four. An easy way to remember what these core four categories are is just to think of a bear. You've got the beauty category, you've got the earnings category, you've got the affection category, and you've got the relief category. So let's dive in to take a closer look at what each of these categories looks like. But if the offer doesn't fit into one of these categories, it's not going to sell. So let's pay close attention. Your offer either needs to help somebody become more beautiful, AKA lose weight or build muscle. It needs to help people earn more money or save on their earnings. It needs to help people experience more affection, like have better relationships, either get into relationships or find their soulmate or get more dates, whatever. Or it needs to help people experience relief of chronic physical pain. Now, I didn't want to believe that a high ticket offer had to fit into one of those four categories. I thought there was way more options out there. I thought that I could pick from anything and it would sell high ticket. But if you go and look at any testimonial that any high ticket coach has of all of their clients, including my own, you can go look at all of our success stories. We have hundreds of success stories. You go watch them all. I'll even link them down below. You'll notice that every single success story comes from somebody who has an offer inside of one of those big four categories. Now that I found the big four, I'm able to get our clients results so much faster because as soon as they come to me for advice, I make sure we put their offer into one of those four categories. The clients who don't have any success whatsoever, always the ones who decide, oh, I'm not going to pick one of those four. And if you're thinking that, if you're thinking that I don't want to pick one of those four, I totally understand that because you might be thinking, well, I'm not beautiful myself. I don't have much earnings to show for anything. I don't have any affection. I'm single. I'm alone and I'm in chronic physical pain myself. So therefore I can't help anyone. What I'd recommend for you in that case is just start helping by offering a service like a done for you or done with you service to help people earn more money. Any beginner online can help an entrepreneur earn more money. And it can be something as simple as offering to being an appointment setter 
or offering to do copywriting or offering to be a virtual assistant or offering to be an assistant coach of some sort by you offering your services to a small business owner or to an entrepreneur or to an online coach and saying hey i want to help you earn more money you'll most likely get hired entrepreneurs want to spend their money on people who can help them earn more money so that's a huge tip and and alternatively if you don't want to help people earn more money but you do still want to fit into one of those big four categories just reach out to somebody who you know that does fit into one of the big four reach out to somebody who is extremely beautiful or someone who does know how to make money in a certain niche or who does know how to get rid of chronic physical pain or who does know how to optimize their relationships just reach out and collaborate with them you can kind of work the behind the scenes they can be in front of the scenes you can act as the coo and they can be the ceo that's the first element is making sure the offer no matter what no exceptions is falling into one of the big four categories and you market it as such you must market it as such you must tell people hey this will specifically help you solve your relationship issue this will specifically help you earn more money this will specifically help you get out of chronic physical pain this will specifically help you become more beautiful because if your offer does fit in one of those big four and you don't mention it no one's gonna buy it you have to let people know you got to make it super obvious that it fits into one of the big four now the second element of creating an absolutely irresistible offer is making sure that whenever you market it and in your messaging of the offer whenever you're having conversations about the offer whenever you're writing copy about the offer you always want to make sure that it's end result focused. So coming back to the big four, you wanna make sure and you let people know this, that this will specifically help you drop 10 pounds. This will specifically help you find your soulmate. This will specifically help you relieve that chronic knee pain that you're having so that you can go run those marathons. This will specifically help you earn an extra $5,000 a month. You must be end result specific as opposed to being process orientated, being process focused. A lot of beginners make this mistake. Even a lot of advanced entrepreneurs make this mistake by accident. They talk way too much about the actual process and not enough about the end result. And the truth is, Nobody cares about the process, myself included. In fact, I recently spent a lot of money on a big four offer. I recently spent a lot of money on a beauty offer and the beauty offer was to help me fix my receding hairline. I flew to Turkey. I spent three, $4,000 flying to Turkey, staying at this hotel, paying for this expensive surgery to fix my hairline. And I didn't know anything about the process. I knew nothing about the procedure. All I knew was the end result was that I was gonna have my hairline back. I was gonna have the same hair I had when I was eight or nine years old. That's all I knew. I knew about the end result. Heck, if I knew about the process, if I knew how painful it was going to be, if I knew how long the recovery was going to be, if I knew all about the sleepless nights I'd have thereafter because I couldn't sleep properly because my hair was being healed, I wouldn't have done the surgery. So telling people about the process, about the procedure can actually be a deterrent. I'm not saying you should be malevolent and hide secrets from people letting them know like the stuff that they're going to have to do to succeed. If they ask, tell them. But when I signed up to get the hair transplant, I didn't ask any questions. I said, is my hair going to look like that? They said, yes. I said, okay, here's my money. Boom. Didn't care about the process at all. I went ahead with it. Same thing happened when I signed up to save money on taxes by setting up my company in Dubai. I asked this company, I said, am I going to save hundreds of thousands of dollars on my taxes if I set up my company in Dubai? They said, yes. I said, okay, here's $10,000. Let's set up my company in Dubai. Boom. I knew nothing about the procedure. I knew nothing about the process. Turns out I landed in Dubai. Even before I landed in Dubai, the process was a nightmare. There was so many steps I had to take. If I had known about the steps, if I had known about the procedure, if I had known about the process, I wouldn't have done it. I would have put it off and procrastinated like crazy. They sold me, I bought, because I was so focused on the end result because they kept reiterating, letting me know that I was gonna save a lot of money by setting up my company in Dubai, and that's all I cared about, the end result. I didn't even know who the company was. I just paid them because I wanted the end result. So the process can be a deterrent, you don't need to talk about the process unless you've been asked about it. You've got to focus on the end result. Let people know and remind them of the end result that they're signing up for. That is so key. Now, the third element of an irresistible offer is having a unique mechanism. A unique mechanism is another word for your process. Even though I just said, don't talk about your process, and I said, focus on the end result, when it comes time to actually focus on the process, when it comes time to actually talk about the mechanism or the procedure or the, the game plan that you're actually gonna help your clients with, if they ask about it, or if you have to advertise it at all, you gotta make sure that it's actually unique and that it contains a without statement. Now, what do I mean by that? Well, let me give an example. I recently launched a very successful offer. This is the same offer that let me win the school games. And I told people in the offer, I said that I'm gonna help them make money online, which is the end result, make five to $10,000 a month. Cool, that's end result. It's in the big four category of making money. But when it came time for the unique mechanism, I said, 
that this is using something called the COO method. And the COO method stands for Chief Operating Officer method. It allows you to make money online without uploading content, without showing your face, or without doing any sales. That offer went ballistic. People bought that thing like crazy because no one wanted to upload content, no one wants to show their face, no one wants to do any sales. They just want to make money online. If you have a unique method that no one's ever heard of before, like the COO method, and then you tell them that they're going to be able to achieve that end result that they want without the things that they don't want, it makes sales so much easier. Just let people know what's not involved. Another example would be, I'm gonna help you lose 30 pounds in 30 days so you can have a flat stomach in time for your marriage, in time for your wedding, without calorie restricting, without you ever experiencing hunger, without you having to do any exercise, and without you cutting out any of your favorite foods. That offer would crush, and I would have to come up with a unique mechanism name, for example, like the bridesmaid booty bombshell method or something. Come up with a unique mechanism, let them know the without, and it will crush. All right, now the fourth element of an irresistible offer is having proof. How much proof? More proof. I remember when I first started signing up for coaching programs and buying online courses, I came across this one guy and I landed on his page and I clicked on testimonials or success stories. And I started scrolling down and saw all these videos from all of his clients. And I kept scrolling and scrolling and scrolling. There's all these testimonials from people who had success with the program. And I kept scrolling and I kept scrolling and I kept scrolling and it never ended. It was this endless wall of testimonials. And I was so inspired by that. And I thought one day I want to have a wall of testimonials just like that. And I ended up working with that guy. I ended up paying him a lot of money to work with him because I wanted to be on that wall of testimonials. And so now I've been in this game for three, four, five years now helping people with their online business. And now I have a wall of testimonials from successful clients I've worked with. And the reason I'm so adamant about having a wall of testimonials is because people don't want to get scammed. I don't want to get scammed. I don't want to waste my money. I don't want to give someone money and then something not work out. I want to make sure there's an ROI, a return on my investment whenever I pay a coach or buy a course or something. And other people are the same. You're probably the same right now. And so you've gotta do your best to create a wall of testimonials. Just have an endless scroll of testimonials. And you might be thinking, well, I don't have any testimonials to begin with right now. I don't have any paying clients at all. How do I do this if I'm just getting started? Well, when you're just getting started, you're not gonna have a wall of testimonials and that's fine. But what you can do is you can at least either use your own story as your one and only case study, your one and only success story, your one and only testimonial. Just let people know that you are proof that it works. Maybe you're helping people lose weight. You can show your own before and afters. Maybe you're helping people make money. You can show screenshots before and after your bank account. Maybe you're helping other people get out of chronic pain. You can share your story, how you got out of chronic pain. Whatever the case may be, you be the story. You be the case study testimonial. Now, you can also get testimonials from other people very, very easily when you're just starting out by simply offering to work with them completely for free. You can say, hey, Bob, I just started as a weight loss coach. I wanna work with you completely for free. And if I can help you lose 10 pounds in the next 30 days, would you be happy to shoot me a quick testimonial? Bob's gonna say for sure, why not? Boom, there you go. It's that simple. You just work with people for free until you get enough testimonials. I remember when I first got started, I had no testimonials, but I was so keen on building my wall of testimonials. I made a post on Facebook, and Instagram, and YouTube, and sent out an email. I said, hey, I wanna work with you completely for free. If you wanna work with me for free, just schedule a call down below. I got all these people booked a call with me, worked with these people for an hour on the phone for free, and at the end of the phone call, I said, hey, Bob, if you found this helpful, would you mind shooting me a quick testimonial? And Bob was like, sure, no problem. So I got testimonials just from people letting other people know that I'm a good coach just by the one hour phone call that we have. So you don't need to do a whole lot of work for people to get a testimonial. You, people just need to give you a testimonial letting other people know that you're legit. All right, now the fifth element of a highly irresistible offer is being time-based. Now when you think of one of the most successful programs of all time that's ever been sold on the internet and in real life is P90X. P90X basically says, get your dream body, which is part of the big four, in 90 days. Dream body, 90 days. How could you say no to that? That alone, just those two phrases, Dream body, 90 days. I'm sold sitting here on the couch. I wanna get up and do some push-ups right now just saying that out loud. Like it's super inspiring. People love time-based offers. When I first launched my high ticket offer, we gave people lifetime access. So we're on the phone with them, we're letting them know, we say, hey, yeah, you get lifetime access, don't worry about it, blah, blah, blah. People actually didn't like that. We found it very strange that people said, mm, lifetime access, I don't know, let, let me think about it. Once we changed it from lifetime access and we started telling people they've got 90 days inside the program, we said, yep, we're gonna get you these results in 90 days or less. People loved it, it sold so much faster. People love it being time-based, 
because it lets them know that it's not gonna take forever to get results. They're gonna get results within this time frame. And having a time frame on your offer also forces you to be a much better coach. It forces you to be able to get people results in a very short period of time. When you tell people they get lifetime access, you as a coach get lazy. You say, oh, don't worry, come back next year, come back next year, come back next year. If you've got 90 days, every freaking day counts. So you're gonna make your program the best program possible so that you can get that testimony, you can get that success story within those 90 days. So by now in this video, you've hopefully learned a lot, but if you want help putting everything you just learned into action, you can go ahead and click the link below to access a free offer clarity call with either myself or someone on my team, where we get together in small groups of people and we help you get crystal clear on your offer completely for free. The reason I recommend showing up to one of these offer clarity calls is because despite knowing what you now know from this video, you're gonna go and gonna craft an offer and it still might not be good enough. There still might be areas for improvement and that's where we can help you on one of these offer clarity calls. We've been doing these every single week now for months and every time people come on the call, they end up leaving the call crystal clear on their offer and going out and selling it and crushing it. And this is the biggest issue stopping most beginners is they're just not clear on their offer. And if they think they're clear, their offer is actually pretty bad. So if you think you're clear and you want help making sure that it's freaking awesome, you want that green stamp of approval from either myself or someone on my team, Go ahead, click that link below to access one of these offer clarity calls and we'll see you on there.